Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Chevy Dude 207 and we're playing American Truck Simulator. Now, I do have a little question for y'all. We are probably bringing the Throwback Classic Day where every Saturday on the weekend we'll take like old summer trucks like this and we'll do make a video, do a long haul or do a haul somewhere and see how it drives, this and that, yada yada yada. And it is my mission to find every classic semi truck out there, drive them, and deliver loads with them. Now, I do one loads per video, but I can make exception of doing two. But other than that, we're going to get right into this. And this is a Volvo. Like, this is an old, old Volvo. Look how old this thing is. And I figured, you know what, I might as well bring in the old trailer as well, too. And this thing has a cat engine. I mean, let's listen to the sound of this. It sounds amazing. The lights on this though is just so well. Now let's hop into the interior. Now, I honestly like this old fashioned interior and the turn signals. They don't blink as quick, but hey, I'm not gonna complain, they work. The mirrors I need to fix, so let's go ahead and fix my mirrors real quick. Fix this left one right here. And then we're going to fix this one right here. Alrighty. And also, when I pump my brakes... Okay. I'm going to listen to it when I get low on air. This thing is amazing. I mean, I like the looks of this truck. It's an old Volvo. But other than that, let's head out and let's get to delivering loads. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, I figured, you know what? We should probably like make the throwback Saturday classics. I did disable the full detection of Get ready to the like of turn left. the me passing cars and then having the thing stop me and everything. I had to turn that off. It was just getting on my nerves so much that I, I just had I just got Keep fed up. And then turn left. Turn left. Man, this thing sounds so good. Get on the highway real quick. All 
I mean, I just after I saw this mod, I'm like, I gotta download it. I want to see what these trucks look like. To be honest, it's got its own interior. There's actually two different interiors in this truck, and I think the other one has new ones as well. It's this one, and I'll show you the upgrades after we get done with this load. put like a 400 horsepower engine in this because I don't want to go too crazy with the engine mod so but I do apologize for the loud mic or bad or just so low audio quality to where you guys couldn't hear me I really do apologize for that I don't know what's been happening all right we're gonna go 65 miles per hour oh that is sick I was going 65, dang it. That was 60. Yep, 60 here. That's really cool. The cruise control light is actually on there. But yeah, I mean, I figured I'd try this truck out and actually, uh, let you guys know there will be a Saturday classic throwback where I take classic semi trucks and I drive them, take loads. But I'll make the exception of hauling two loads in one video. So it may be a two hour long video, maybe an hour long, who knows. But yeah, I'm actually loving this truck very much. We don't need to get off, so we're still good to stay on it. But since we already did the International Eagle 9900i and did this truck, these two trucks will not be on the classic videos. But I'll be recording them on Fridays and have them sent out by Saturday. So I figured, you know what? Because I was just talking to a friend about this. I found plastic semis. And I was like, you know what? I should ask people, should I do a Saturday throwback classic day? But you know what? We're doing it. And the windshield is a little different on here. Well, either go in front of me or stay behind me. I probably got to get off this highway soon. Okay, well, we can stay in this lane for right now. Keep right, and then turn right. Floor it. Turn right. You get in the slow lane real quick. got down there a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, she's slowing down a little bit. I'm going to give her a little bit more juice. Alright, look, like Chris will take control. Get in this one then. Oh, 
I did find this mod in ATS.LT. Um, I don't remember the mod name, but I know it's like white GMZ Volvo, something like that. You'll find it in the list. But I don't know. Let me down. Let me know down below if there was actually a semi truck part of like a model name called White. Because to be honest, I think that's just part of Freightliner, but I could be wrong. So let me know down below. I'm gonna let you guys hear the him. That sounds awesome. And this one right here. I really want to find a Freightliner M2 or find an International Duro Stars because those that Freightliner M2 does exist, but I want to get like the older models or even the older Freightliner semis, like the ones that are in the bus bodies, the FS 65s, but that in a semi. I really want to find those because I would be more than willing to drive those, even the International 3800s. Which I think they're called the 47, 4700s. I really want to find those and actually drive those as well, but it's kind of hard to find them with its own interior model and with its own engines. Right now, I'm using mods to do their engine. I mean, don't get me wrong, they kind of suit the truck. Major frame rate. This line right here. Keep right. Major frame rate downgrade. Holy crap. We're still good though. I need to get in this lane though. Oh, I've been down here. Keep left and then turn left. Turn left. Know why it's doing that now. And then turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Okay, so it's in here. Finally. This one's gonna be tight. All right, we're dropping off right there. <laughs> That's funny. I there's a McDonald's one. I have never seen that in my life. An ATS. That's sick. Guess it doesn't like the the use of a four way.
Alright. We're gonna see what we're up against. Okay, there's it is. I feel like we kinda jackknife the trailer and then shove it right in there. We should be able to get it. I should probably move up a little bit so we can get it re rearranged and everything. Get it in there. Alright. Why is it doing that? down that's cool it doesn't have a sound for it Trying to get it right back there. All right. And then I'm going to turn it all the way over here. Back this way. I'm going to step out and look at it real quick. Okay, we need to pull up a little bit more and rearrange it. Then we should be able to get it right in. Okay. And there we go. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you... Oh, actually. Before we continue. We're going to go to world map. Find a service station. Somewhere. There we go, right here. We're going to travel all the way up there, and I'll show you guys what mods they got. So we'll drive it a little bit more before we end this video. Time to hit the road.
turn left. But yeah, I, I I enjoy this truck. But also we we could pop. I don't know. Let me down, know down below if we should do construction day, where I take like the cat semi or some construction semi truck like Western Star or Cat. Turn right. Or basically the Ford F350 because it does have a construction or towing body. And what we do is we either tow cars or haul something that belongs to construction. Then we'll let you know down below. If you're wondering what day that will be, that will be on a Sunday. So record it on a Saturday, upload it by Sunday. Five miles per hour, I forgot. What the okay? Oh, that's cool. I never actually seen a semi actually load a haul load like that. That's sick. That's a lot of train cars. I love this semi. I might actually drive this more often, to be honest. It's just a nice classic semi. I don't know why. There's probably better classics out there, don't get me wrong, but... I mean, with the way the twin signal is, the way the... Low air pressure sounds... I just think it's nice, but... Keep right. Right. Again, we got more classic semis out there. Exit right. Go straight on.
I haven't been on this thing at all. This is cool. I know. No, it's harder. Turn right. Oh, that's trailer break. Awesome. So let's hop into this. So we got plenty of mods. I went with the ES one. I don't know why, but we got this one. We got that one. And then we got the day cab, which is just a nice classic one. But they also have one that is for this truck, but it's a single, which I think is really nice. Kind of just doing a little something. Should have went with this one. Or was it this one? It was this one. Not too shabby, I like it. And of course, because of my engine mods, I install, there's like a whole bunch of, there's some selections. I went with the Eaton 18 speed. They got other ones up here too. But since this one's so classic, there's no retarder. So we got blue leather, if we look down here, there's blue, gray, red, and then we got the new one, which, to be honest, I'm not really a big fan of this interior. I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks great, but like, it kind of ruins the point of the classic. So, but we got other paint, we got red line, we got Americana. Crimson and Gold, Donnie's Dream, Red Lines, Texas, Dragon Fruit, Omaha, and then we got the rest of these. But for me, I just made it a plain black one, because why not? Now if we come back over here. Now if we come over here, we got... Plenty of options for the uh, bug shield. I went with the black. 
So you get plane flaps or plane flaps with bump or flap. Which actually that looks sick. And then we got a standard and we got sealed halogen lights. I looked at these and was like, eh, it doesn't really fit the classic theme of the truck. But you know, you can customize it the way you want. But this is just my decision on it. They got passenger door, passenger door with window, which I don't know what that is. What is that one? Oh, okay. That's what it is. Of course, you could change the flooring. I just kept it black. You got a trim panel. Which I... Okay, it's just a chrome color. And then you get side markers, trim panel lights. Didn't really go with it. And then we got these VTC logos. I think these are just because you can customize, yeah, your own logo here. You got a blanket for the back of the cab. I didn't really use them. You got fla flarings, but I got to remove that thing. But, I mean, there's a whole bunch of other stuff, like, you can just do with this truck. And if we look at the grill, which if you come over here, you can see how the grill is. I went with the Volvo Chrome and Surround. Now, they have a white dash GM. Oh, it's a so white is GMC. Okay. Yeah, see, white dash, white GMC. So, but also if like you're doing like a uh, winter drive. And you can have, like, your own winter front. And then you got your own bumpers here. I went with the painted Moose Masher. Of course, you can make this an overhaul, like, oversized load truck. You got strobes for the antennas. I didn't go with the strobes because, I mean, this is just a classic truck. I'm not going to push it through that. We got... Sun visor, but there's only two, which, I mean, that doesn't really make a big deal out of it. Strobe light brackets, so you can add more strobe lights in the back. Yeah, more over here. See, for me, I would have done a flash pattern four. I think it was this one. I don't remember. No, it's not this one. It has to be three or two. Yeah, three. Three is the one I usually go with. Because of the, the out and center. That's what I usually go with. Again, that's a mod. And they got stickers back here, which is pretty cool. You get your own sticker back here, or you can just put a Volvo one on it. Now you got stacks, which I didn't really do anything much with it. What's a clap? Oh, it's the... uh. That thing. That's sick. I'll go with it. Northern Light Cab Rack. Aluminum deck plate, which I didn't know you can install. Round lights. Okay. That looks pretty nice. You get you get to change these light tail lights. I kept I for the most I kept it like a classic look, so I didn't really do anything with it. Now, if we come in here, of course, if you have the DLC, you can use your portable navigator or cell phone. And I don't... Yep, there's the steering wheel. So we got that. We got this one. Which is really sick. You got your hood mirrors. You got your grill. Yep, you can even install your DLC. Air conditioner items. You get your hang, not hanging. This is your hanging items, which you got a whole bunch of mods for it, well, a whole bunch of stuff for it. Now you can change this, which actually this looks pretty good with it. I actually like that. All right, that's cool. And then I don't know why there's a cell phone on it, but you get a neon flamingo, which is wow. Okay. And then you got stuffed unicorn, which is great. And then you got 
your normal stuff. Other than that, I mean, this truck is really nice. I mean, I I can't complain about this. This actually is really nice. But I'm going to change this back. Change this grill back to where it was before. What's the painted grill going to look like? I wonder. It actually looks a lot better. But yep, hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon if you don't want to miss any uploads I make. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Stay calm and be cool, everyone. Peace.